Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Fifi. Today, tonight, it's 8 o'clock in the evening on a Tuesday. Um, <clears throat> I'm going to start reading The Song of Achilles by Madeline, Madeline Miller. I have heard so many things. If you don't know what this book is, where have you been? It has been literally everywhere on the internet. There is no corner of the World Wide Web where you will not see this book splattered. This week I'm going to be diving into this and I'm going to take you with me in the journey. I don't know how this is going to go. Um, I have never done a reading vlog before. This is my first time. But uh, I wanted to do this because I know in my heart, 100%, this will destroy me. I'm not gonna tell you what it's about because, you know, it's Achilles. Just by the title of this, you already know it's gonna be... I'm hoping to finish this by Friday, which I'm not very confident about because I have so many things to do this week. I work from home every other day and the other remaining days I go to the office. I hope I get a lot of reading, although I have a lot of Solterra jewelry orders. If you don't know, I make jewelry and sell them for some extra book cash. It's what funds my book collection. The last time I read anything Greek mythology related was when, uh, when was that? Percy Jackson because who doesn't read Percy Jackson? And that was in high school, so um, I'm excited. Uh, see ya. This big bad wolf sale. <laughs> How do I not get sucked into this when hardbounds are 230 pesos? I don't think there are a lot of books on here that are on my TBR, which is good. But there are books that I've been wanting to repurchase because I've lost them like throughout the years. For example, um, the Red Pyramid trilogy. I don't have the second and the third book anymore for some reason. And I think it's because I always lend my books to friends. When I was in high school, I was the designated librarian of like my classroom or my school bus. So I always just lent my books to anybody and I didn't keep tabs so I'm trying to form like a library system for my books because I really want to lend these to my friends who want um to borrow them and actually I want to make like an Instagram account of like like a mini library of sorts and I want to do like a car like library card system and all that a project for another time but I have to keep track of my books and to whom I lend them to so uh, I want to complete again my sets that I've, you know, been missing on. For example, the Red Pyramid series. I just recently uh, per repurchased the Percy Jackson series because those I also lost in the fire. Don't know where they went. Gone, ran away. Uh, but yeah, I'm probably gonna look for stuff that I lost throughout the years. Good morning. 
Good morning. Oh, oh. <laughs> Hello! Update! It is now Tuesday. Almost a week um, into reading this book. Update on where I am. <clears throat> okay, I am already in page 188 and um, this is the part where uh, I don't think I've said anything about the first half so I'm going to talk about it. Uh, Patroclus was sent to Thaya uh, where Achilles was. They met they built this relationship, this friendship, this thing, this beautiful thing. Um, I love the way Madeline Miller writes so much. It's so... there's something about her writing that's so classic, so mysterious, so timeless. Um, I love that this is in first person and it's in Patroclus... Patroclus's point of view because he is such a good storyteller. Him seeing the love of his life try to save Troy, uh, well not save Troy, but try to save Helen and try to be the greatest warrior. Well he already is, but you know he's trying to prove that title, the greatest warrior there ever is. And just seeing Achilles through the eyes of Patroclus majestic it's so perfect if you're not well versed in greek mythology achilles leads the thian army to join agamemnon's cause in saving helen of my my sin my sin mm, that that place but now we're seeing patroclus really angsty and really um well i don't know of course worried because the love of his life is going to be um well he's going to die that's what the prophecy says um this is not a spoiler but the prophecy of achilles 
is he is going to die um, in this battle. I really love reading this in Patroclus's point of view again I say this because he's just so he's he's such a big empath um, such an empathetic person that part where Di Diabe the princess the princess I am going to butcher all the names here so I'm just not going to attempt to say them but he she confronted him about Achilles and then stuff happened but they were talking about um, she was talking about the, the pain she was feeling towards Achilles's indifference towards her and the way he understood her pain I don't know the first instinct of a teenage boy would be to be angry to I don't know resent her because um, things happened that I can't say uh, but he didn't he was very understanding he understood her pain because he felt it as well as an exile and as someone who was very unloved by his father and I I'm halfway and I just know that this half will put a knife through my heart. Let it be known that Greek gods suck balls. Okay, 204. Suck balls. Suck balls. Good morning, guys. Um, it is, what is it? It's Wednesday. Update, I'm driving to work, but I got to read a chunk last night. Let's talk about what just happened. I'm already in page around 250. This is a 369 page book. Wow, wow. I'm already in the part where, uh, of course, Achilles and Patroclus are called, well, it's mostly Achilles. Achilles is called to war against the Trojans and Patroclus, of course, is there. Um, and we see battle. If anyone anybody is familiar with Greek mythology, we all know about the Trojan War. We all know what happens to Achilles. We know what's gonna happen. But the thing about this is, like, uh, this reimagining by Madeline Miller is so... I don't know. There's something... I don't know if it's just because my memory of Greek mythology isn't that refreshed, but I don't know how things are going to happen. I know what is going to happen, maybe, but I don't know how it's gonna happen, and I am just in a state of anxiousness all the time because since we there's a prophecy on Achilles and you know we're looking at this through Patroclus's point of view we share the same like my like I don't know I, me and the I feel like me and Patroclus are like brain what's gonna happen to this boy I don't know what I just said but I hope you understood that you know I'm in that point where I either don't want to finish it because I know it's not going to be a good time at the last 50 pages of the book um, but also at the same time I'm like let's just get on with this thief I don't know rip the band-aid already I can do this by today right I can yeah I can <laughs> this is gonna be fun I'm gonna see you the next thing you're probably gonna see me is me bawling my eyes out hopefully so let's just jump over over there
Hello everyone, I am an egg today. It has been days since I finished The Song of Achilles. The last time you saw me, I was a complete mess. I am currently editing the video and um, wow, that was that was a whole emotional roller coaster that just happened. I lost some of the clips of me breaking down because I filmed in two cameras and I lost the clips in the other camera and those were the the worst of the worst i was bawling my eyes out this broke me <laughs> this was so painful and um the only thing missing from the video is my final thoughts so here it is i am i think i've i've had a, around a few days to marinate my thoughts and emotion and i won't be saying anything intellectually contributive to the literary society but wow is this book a masterpiece well i've already said this before but i went into this knowing what was going to happen knowing what um, achilles's story was about and how it was going to end um, and throughout the journey reading this particular retelling of the whole story, um, I didn't know how things would happen. And a part of me was kind of expecting it to turn out differently. Like, I don't think I've heard from anybody who has reviewed this ever that things turn out differently. But because... Um, Achilles, because of my love for Achilles and Patroclus, a huge part of me was hoping that Madeline Miller would turn things around in the end. But of course she didn't. She didn't. I'm glad she, she, I mean, like who, I don't think, you can't turn it around. But, you know, there was this huge part of me that was just like, maybe she will end this nicely. Maybe this will have a happier ending. Maybe this is actually fan fiction. But wow was that conclusion very satisfactory i don't know if anybody else feels the same way but i was very satisfied with how she concluded things i mean it was sad but uh it was like it we had we had more there was more to it than what we got from i mean from the iliad from other reimaginings other retellings of the story of achilles and we don't really get a lot of patroclus in other retellings so this was one big gift in one beautiful magnificent book so one of my favorite things about this is seeing achilles as his two selves well you know he's more than two but we saw him as the hero that he was destined to be the greatest hero ever um, and we also saw him as the boy that he was. He is human. He, well, he's partly human, but he is human. His love for Achilles is, I mean, his love for Patroclus is human. Um, and it was beautiful. Their love is so tender. So, 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 so tender and magnificent. So... It was just it was just a joy, such a wonderful, wonderful story of friendship and love and and battle. And what an amazing reimagining of the Iliad. Those are my final thoughts. I just want to recommend this to everybody who just needs love in their life. Midway through the book, I was asking myself and all my friends who um have read this. I I'm reading this with Theola. I read this with Theola and I have been discussing this with Julia and Theola. Um, but I have I kept asking them, why is this yet not branded as the greatest love story of all time? It It is. Like, it, what, sorry to Romeo and Juliet, but Achilles and Patroclus? Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm so sorry. I'm filming through my computer because I cannot be bothered to pick up my camera anymore <laughs> but uh i hope you enjoyed this video if anybody wants to watch more reading vlogs i will be making more of them because i had fun actually making this and reading along with the camera uh, made the reading experience more you know thrilling <laughs> um i'll be uploading a video next week i know i upload every other week but i don't know i have content next week which is fun so please look forward to that on friday at 4 p.m pst
Philippine Standard Time. So yeah. Again, thank you so much for tuning by my channel. Please subscribe if you haven't yet and like this video if you liked it. No pressure. And I'll be seeing you next week. Good morning. Still morning now. Uh, good afternoon. Good night. Bye-bye.